welcome back to the channel guys uh, this is Stu uh, it's been some time since uh, we've done a product review um, just one of the many things that we're starting to do uh, on the uh, the relaunch of the channel um, so this review is going to be uh, pretty quick actually because it's, um, it's it's very straightforward as you can probably see what's in front of me I have some new paint brushes so I got in touch with them um, uh, Redgrass Games um, company who specializes in uh, painting accessories um, painting products uh, primarily like your brushes and um, like your palettes um, specializing uh, quite a lot in that so I got in touch with them and uh, they were ever so kind to send through uh, some of their products to do a review on um, and also you know just to help support the channel so uh, before I get started, just a massive thank you to Redgrass Games. Um, please, everybody, check them out. Um, you know, especially for your paint, uh, your brushes as well, which I will go through right now. So, um, did get sent through uh, uh, three brushes. We got uh, a two, and we got uh, the smaller one, uh, which is I believe is the uh, two two point oh, uh, because. Uh, Redgrass Games actually um, state that you should only ever need two brushes. So of course we are going to be doing uh, in the future some little painting tutorials um, of just how good these brushes are. So there we go, we have a nice brush there. Comes in the nice little kind of uh, stop little to keep it protected in there. So that's the two. It looks as though this is pretty pretty large brush, uh, like a, your basic base brush there. Um, obviously it is brand new, so very nice. I believe it's sable hair as well. Um, so not a bad product at all. Um, also quite like the uh, the fact that it kind of it kind of contours towards the bottom here. So the shape of if you look at like a standard. Um, a standard brush um, I mean it is a little bit contoured there but comparing it against this you can see a little bit more of a difference I don't know if it's just the colour of my eyes but it feels as though that it, it'll be easier to kind of hold so there's the uh, the standard one um, so they sent me one of them uh, they originally sent um, said that they were only going to send me two and uh, they've been generous and gave me two lots of the uh, the small one. So uh, Graham's going to be taking uh, the brushes because I uh, obviously we are splitting the load, so to speak. Yeah, that's a very nice fine tip. And obviously this will come in handy for painting things like my um, like more Harlequin units, uh, just general small details. So very nice tip on the brush there. Um, nice product there and obviously protecting it keeping it nice and safe just slot it back in there and that's that and obviously uh, this one here is exactly the same as the previous so three brushes uh, very nice from there um, cost wise uh, not too bad uh, your typical brush price um, but obviously coming from I believe the based in France uh, it, well, yeah, obviously in Europe um, they'll have outlets all over the place as well but the price wasn't too bad for them actually uh, it looked as though they were around about between 6 euros you know you um, give it a conversion rate that, that was for uh, 2 I believe so next obviously is the uh, the wet palette stuff but I'm going to show you see some uh, the uh, hydration foam these are the, uh, the replacements very handy uh, it's been a I've never actually tried um, a wet palette before I've seen lots of videos about it so really looking forward to trying these out so you get the uh, the hydration paper sheets you get 50 of these so these are obviously to be replaced every so often so the fact that you get 50 of them they're gonna last quite some time especially if you take care and obviously you're not gonna go mental with them so getting to the meat of the product, uh, this is the, uh, the Everlasting Wet Palette. Uh, there of course is the logo for, for Redgrass. 
um, obviously tested and approved by Pro Painters. So it comes in a very, quite a decent box actually. It's very, it's not shaking around or anything like that. A um, couple of bits of information on the on the the back here. Obviously, it saves your paint. That is the idea. I, I know the basics of um, how a wet palette works. Never actually had the joys of having one or using it. So let's get into the meat of this. Uh, now, if uh, memory serves me right, I believe this retails for. I think it's twenty pounds conversion rate. Don't quote me on that because there's there's some different sizes as well. So in the actual box itself, if you just wanted the, uh, if you literally just wanted the actual the palette itself, if you just wanted this, then you all you get another you get the fifty sheets in there anyway. Now. They're obviously, uh, the, these are quite cheap as well, so you pick them up for next to nothing. So this is the actual product, so you get some more foam in there. So, but the actual wet palette itself looks well packed, looks quite stylish as well. Um, just trying to see about getting in without causing too much of a mess here. So it comes with a nice nice strap there to keep everything nice and down. Obviously stick that over there, it'd be nice for traveling. Now I do know a few people who will find that very, very handy. A um, couple of guys uh, that I know obviously paint on the go, they'll take a, maybe a miniature or two with them uh, when they're traveling up and down the country. And that would be perfect. So you've got your, your little tray here for putting your paint paints in to mix and I've noticed as well it's got magnets on it as well did not know that by the brief uh, pictures that, uh, I've, that I've looked at it magnetizes to the side and that's you know that that's pretty sturdy I mean obviously it'll come off if you know you're, you're purposefully doing it but pretty strong magnet connection there you know that's pretty decent and obviously inside, if I can get this thing open to give you a bit of a look. That is a bit, the only kind of gripe is obviously to keep it tight. So that, I mean, the purpose is to keep this air tight essentially, so that your paints remain uh, wet for longer. You know, the, the, the join here is a little bit difficult to, to kind of open, especially if you're like me and have hardly any nails, but you know, with a look, just protecting it a little bit. So this will be where your, your foam will go, and then your sheets, and you can mix around your paint on there, and obviously pop it back on, especially if you're traveling as well. Get that on there, and of course, get your strap on to keep it nice and protected. So, a very very nice product here um i mean it'd be cool if they do multiple there is a few of the, of the different sizes like i say um but this is like your standard size um so i'll certainly be using this giving this a try out so but again uh, there's the uh, logo just on the bottom there as well so it's the everlasting wet palette um and obviously it is supplied and designed by red grass games uh a link will be in the description of the video as well, of course. Uh, but any of you guys that uh, are obviously wanting to get into using wet palettes, uh, just to up your painting game slightly, um, certainly give them a check, especially for, for the palette and, of course, the brushes that I showed earlier. Uh, so that's the review. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Certainly check out Redgrass Games uh, for other product reviews. Certainly give us a, a look onto uh, our webs uh, onto our YouTube channel. Uh, there's other product reviews on there and of course uh, with the relaunch happening uh, there will be further content such as Kill Team, um, obviously your 40k and other stuff as well. And um, that is everything all done for the review guys so thanks very much for watching. Until next time, happy wargaming.